Hey everybody, this is Two Curious Cats here, uh, Jordan and Holly. We're here, at, we managed to accidentally stumble across Casey Jones Village here in Tennessee. So, we're here, kind of at the actual village area of it. Okay. We're kind of just wandering around right now. Because we accidentally stumbled across here, we were looking for a place to let our dogs use the restroom and found this place, so I'm not going to let our dogs use the restroom here, I don't think, but... We'll be right back. Hey, hey, we're back. We're here at the Village Chapel open from dawn till dusk circa 1905 we're gonna see if we can go in I don't know if we can or not but okay we couldn't go in because there was people in there doing a Bible study so oops anyhow I guess we can show you the rest of the village yeah we're just gonna walk around Look around, see what else there is to see. What else is there to see, Holly? There's a train. There's trains. Lots I of like trains. trains. I like trains. <laughs> and then there's a garden. And this beautiful white house. And there's poles. <laughs> I don't know what that white house right there is. I'm sure it's something important, really. But... It might be a... <gasps> Let's see, 1905, we're, we were out of, let's see, before the Great Depression, so, huh, I guess that would have been, I'm gonna take a guess, but I'm saying those houses probably were places where the workers were. So we got nice garden. Looks like maybe they're trying to work on fixing it up. I'm not really sure what this is. Let's not go into it. But there's a pretty white house. That cat will run from you. Ah, oh, look at it run. It's like, nope. Nope, it's done. It's done. Bye. <laughs> Holly scared the cat away. I don't know if we're allowed to walk on the grass. I really just... But... <laughs> oh, there we go. Hey, jump. It's gonna be heyday, that dog is around. Okay, so we're gonna go over here to the old Trade. country store. Or old country store. Old country store. I guess y'all can follow us around. Follow us around. <laughs> we're gonna do a quick follow us around. Okay, we'll be right back. Okay, so since we're out here, I'm just gonna do this real. Look at what we just stumbled across. Some. I don't know if that's getting it, but... Ellis Truitt and the late J. Harry Smith had these concrete busts made about 1954-55. Memphis con concrete products produced them from molds made by the Memphis Academy of Arts. They weigh 550 pounds for the male and 500 pounds for the female. Named Chief Realfoot and Laughing Eyes through legends named 
the chief stolen into the starlight. Original cost was $2,100. Originally erected at entrance to Magnolia Beach on the washout at Railfoot Lake in northwest Tennessee. Moved to this site in 1994 on loan by Ellis Turret. Okay, we're about to go into the store. I think, aren't we? Okay. Okay, one second, I'll be right back. Okay, so we're passing through the old train car. He said it was a sleeper. Sleeper. It's an old... Oh, it's open. So... <clears throat> this is the restroom. This is the like restroom. This is the state post. Keep going. Holly. Just keep going. Don't open that. Okay, so it's an old sleeper. Is that what this was? Oh, I definitely think where you'd sleep. This was probably the whole room right here. That you say then. I'd feel weird to have a bathroom in the middle. Well, you cl could close it down, I think, right there. Well, like... It's private. If you're using the restroom. Don't mess with too much. I don't want to get in trouble or anything. Here's another one, smaller, probably a little bit more. For well, one person. More of a downgrade. That one that we just saw was probably a. Deluxe. Probably even one they shared with everybody. So. I kind of would like to be a better. Can't go out the fire extinguisher. Can't go out the back door, he said. But. What? How would y'all like, have a like to stay in this? Pretty nice, actually. If I do say so myself, I mean, funny, close it, go open it back up, good. That's probably a public bathroom, maybe, oh. For Amy All right, we'll be right back. Okay, we're, we're back outside. I don't know if y'all can see it. This is what it looks like on the outside. It's much more open than I thought. Yeah, it's a lot bigger on the inside than it looked. Obviously, it's out of commission, obviously, you know. Got this fancy air conditioner now in there. Obviously, we came on the right day because it's open only today. Yeah. For a while, I guess. So many bees. Okay. And for our last attraction. Whoa, one second. Oh shoot. We we've actually got the I don't know if you can see it right back there, Casey Jones Home Railroad Museum and Train Store. So but we're not here to see that museum. No no no. We're here. We to see. The, we're here for the biggest part about this place. After all, it is called Casey Jones Village. Casey Jones was a rail worker who had his own special kind of whistle on his train cars. Now, the sign here 
in front of this house actually says, this is the house where John Luther Jones, who was Casey Jones, was living at the time of his death at the throttle of his engine, old 382, at Vaughn, Miss, Missouri, or Mississippi, I think. His death was caused when he was, he was trying in a, to avoid hitting he, another train. Car, it was a car wreck. Tra it was a train car? wreck with another train. Uh, he's popular because of the fact that he actually tried to keep keep these people alive on the train and tried to save them. Uh, a folk song immortalized his name. Here it says, All the switchmen knew by the engine's moans that the man at the throttle was Casey Jones. And then they have a Casey Jones museum which looks like it's closed to the public. Don't think I can get in, but. Or maybe you have to go in there to this museum when you come out this way. Unfortunately, I am low on money, so I can't just do that like I did in the train. Anyhow, th this is Casey Jones' home here in. And his village. Jackson, Tennessee. And so we, we're we doing a little bit of history on our vacation. This is part, another part of our vacation, so anyhow. We'll probably see a lot more videos. You, you all will see a lot of videos from us on this vacation. Because we have only like nine hours yeah, to we, drive. We've got a lot more driving to do. Anyhow, thanks so much for watching this video. If you'd like to see more videos like this, we'll try to find them for you. Go ahead and like that button down below. Comment down below what you would like to see and we'll try to go check it out. And if you did like this video and more like it, please subscribe. Subscribe and su subscribe and support us in our journey. We're trying to get more subscribers, yes, because we actually enjoy doing these videos. So, anyhow, thanks so much for watching and we'll see y'all in the next video. Bye. Bye.